tell you just how much stuff you need to change out a compressor on the roof. That's actually not everything. You also need the can of refrigerant, and you also need uh, the uh, compressor itself. So, you know, two and a half ton big old black ball of, uh, you know, copper. Anyway, got nitrogen float through the system uh, as we're uh, doing it, brazing it in when you're brazing. Recovery tank. Yep, got the vacuum pump, vacuum oil, got some bubble test for bubble testing, got my bag for gear for whatever else comes up, any kind of wiring, recovery machine, water, oxygen acetylene torch with silver solder. Gonna be changing out to a turbo torch, actually haven't used the turbo torch yet, so that'll be pretty cool, because then you uh, actually don't need the oxygen anymore, you can just use the acetylene, recovery machine, recovery tank, yeah, lots of fun to get all the stuff up on the roof and then all the stuff off the roof after it's done plus the refrigerant and the compressor and I've got my gauges back there in the blue case and we'll also need some channel locks and you also want to add a new filter dryer because the filter dryer can help absorb moisture vacuuming will get most of it but if there's a tiny bit left the filter dryer can help protect the compressor yeah. 